Hi YouTube, it's Princess Diamond. So in today's video, I will be showing how I achieve these small lemonade braids. I will also be showing the two methods that I've learned and use um, for doing feed-in braids. So if you want to see how I do this, stay tuned. She's a diamond. She's a diamond girl. She's a diamond. Diamond, diamond, diamond. So you always want to start on freshly washed hair, blow dried out straight. Um, I use Expression African Collection. I got my shining jam that's going to help with um, my parting and help with the frizz. Um, I think for this style, it took all together, I want to say four and a half hours. Um, I think we started at four and I ended a little after eight and then it took I used two and a half packs of the African collection I want to say it was just two just two packs but um, I realized that this is not the best angle for me to explain what I'm doing so I'm just going to let you guys watch um, the beginning of this for now. And then I'll, sh I'll explain a little later how exactly I do the feed and braids. So for the first method, this is actually what I currently do. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> um, so I start with the regular braid in the beginning. So I do about, I don't know, a few braids. <laughs> I'm not going to count. And then I get a strand of hair and I add the hair in between my index finger and my thumb. So I just grip it. And I continue with that braid. So I'm going to do another few braids. And again, I really don't count how many braids I do. Um, I just always add it with the same hand. So with that being said, I'm always going to be holding on to that braid with the opposite hand. So I'm holding on to the braid with the right hand, adding the hair in with my left hand, and just continuing to braid. I'm gonna do a few braids until I get back to my right hand. And then I'm gonna add another few pieces of hair in between my, again, index finger and thumb, and then just going to continue with the braid. This is the simplest to me this is this is like real simple and it might take some practice or getting used to but it's it's really it's really easy but I will say that this is not the first way that I learned how to do feed and braids and if I had to do it all over again like learn all over again I would still learn the other way first and and then do this this way just because I don't know I just, I guess I wouldn't, I just wouldn't change the way I learned doing feeding braids. I like this method better now that I'm used to doing feeding braids, but 
for me personally, I would have learned the other way still first. Okay, now here's the second method. Now this is this is how I started learning how to do feet and braids. I still kind of use this sometimes, um, but yeah. So I again start with the regular braid in the beginning, and I grab a few pieces of hair. So I'm holding on to this with my left hand, and I use my pinky to grip onto the hair, and then I add that piece of hair in between again my thumb and index finger. But this time, when I braid. The hair that I was holding with my pinky finger, I'm going to let go, do a regular braid, and then come back and add that hair in. I'll show it again. It's gonna take some practice if you're a beginner. So again, so I'm holding on to that with my left pinky. I added it in between my thumb and index finger. I do a braid, I let go of that hair and then I come back around and I add it in. It's so much easier if you're just watching and, and once you're actually doing it, the way I'm explaining it, it's, it's probably confusing as hell. This is just how I know how to explain it, but once you're doing it, it's, it's, it's easy. Here is a slow close-up of that first method. So y'all see just how easy it is for the first method. And here's the second method. You see I'm holding it with my pinky. I'm adding it in between my thumb and index finger. I do a braid. I let go. Do another braid and then I add it back I say just mess around with it guys and just do both and see which one is easiest for y'all um, I said I like this method just because with with me learning it it was a way of how I could perfect that braid you know but if just adding it in with the in between your index and thumb is easier for you have at it so i apologize guys this is not the best view of how i do the front but you still get to see me do it i'll get better this is only like what my third youtube video so i'll get better at recording
So I'm finishing up with the last braid here. And I'm just going to go ahead and lay those baby hairs down. So I'm using wild growth, wild growth oil moisturizer to go ahead and oil her scalp. And then I dip her hair in water to seal those ends just make sure you're always careful you don't want to ever 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 burn your clients Y'all not about to worry about me in this video. I know I look rough. Don't worry about me. Focus on these braids. Look at that. Look at that that beauty, right? Ooh, yes, yes, yes. So I think they came out really nice and pretty. You guys let me know what you think. If you like them, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and let me know what else, as always, you guys would like to see. Bye.